I know a lot of you are sick of winter. It's only February, though, so we will have more winter weather on the way. I know some of you are telling me, Chris, make it stop. Make it stop, please. As I like to say, here in the Weather Service, we're in publicity and marketing only. We're not in production, so don't shoot the messenger. I do have some highlights in effect this morning. You can see the pink areas. This is where the maximum impact will be. Probably these are winter storm warnings. covers the whole Bighorn Basin, Cody Foothills, also Johnson County. Now, winter weather advisories, we did issue those this morning as well. covers just about all the western mountains, also the bighorns. And uh, this area down in here, that's a winter, high wind watch, I should say. This hasn't changed from yesterday. Basically, east of Rock Springs across I-80 Sweetwater County up towards southeastern Fremont County. I want to start in end time, some different ones here. Go to our website right there, weather.gov slash RW. And timing out the impacts, this really hasn't changed that much. This is pretty much the same. Coming in later tonight across the western mountains, then moving northwest to southeast across the area. Starting in northern Wyoming during the morning hours on Tuesday, central Wyoming during the afternoon hours, and then southern Wyoming probably at the nighttime hours, and the maximum impact at about six hours on to that. So Tuesday morning across the western mountains, afternoon evening on Tuesday across central Wyoming, and then Tuesday night maybe the first part of Wednesday across southern Wyoming. And our confidence levels... Very good chance we're going to see strong wind also blowing snow with this. It's going to be a dry, powdery snow, a lot of wind with this, especially across northern Wyoming. Starting end times, these haven't changed much, so pretty good confidence of that, but snowfall amounts, models are still agreeing to disagree, especially east of the vice. So still not a lot of confidence on this, but it might not matter. I'm going to show you a few things here. Mainly, that's the wind gusts. We'll come up, there it goes. And the strongest winds, this hasn't changed much either. You can see Bighorn Basin. All the way down toward maybe the northern part of the and wind gusts here, 40, maybe 50, locally 60 miles per hour. Same thing around Buffalo. They could really howl in here if things set up right, maybe gusts to 60 there as well. This will be mainly on Tuesday during the day. And down here, Tuesday night and Wednesday across uh, Sweetwater County, especially east of Rock Springs out toward Warm Sutter, gusts maybe 40, 50, 60 miles per hour here as well. But just about everybody could see gusty winds with this system. With that snow blowing around, focus on this. Look we'll at on the impacts in the snow, not the snowfall amounts. It's going to blow around a lot. You're going to have a real hard time measuring this. There's not going to be a lot of calm areas. It could be a situation where there's one inch on the ground someplace or it could be a drift a couple feet high somewhere else. So, like I said, good luck trying to measure it. But I want to give you an idea of how much snow is going to fall. This is the percent chance of seeing one inch or more. There we go. Got to get new batteries for this thing. Anywhere north of, say, the Wind River, there's a pretty good chance of seeing at least an inch of snow out of this, about 80 to 90 percent for just about everybody. Now, the system that was going to bring the uh, snow to the southern part of the state, that's digging a little bit further to the south, so might not be much snow at all down across this area if things set up right, but you will get the wind. And any kind of snow on I-80 causes chaos. We pretty much know that here in Wyoming. So the uh, least amount of snow we'll probably see, again, there may just be a trace here across uh, Sweetwater County. Anywhere north of Wind Rivers, anywhere from about 1 to 3 inches across is this area. Just find your spot in the map to look for it. Same thing across the western valley, about 1 to 3 Maybe higher amounts, say, around Thermopolis, maybe South of Cody with the flow going like this. There could be some upslope here, also across Lander. Now, if things set up right, we get the maximum amount of snow, which I know a lot of you don't want to hear, seeing how it's been so snowy and cold this winter. A maximum amount of two to three inches across uh, Sweetwater County. You get north of the Wind Rivers, much more about four to eight inches, the maximum amount along I-25. Same thing across the uh, Wind River Basin, also the Bighorn Basin. So, good rule of thumb east of the divide, about four to eight inches for everybody. Western mountains, western valleys, anywhere from about three to five, maybe over a foot across the mountains, and lesser amounts as you go south toward Cokeville Kemmerer and also Big Piney in the Pinedale area. And this is the official forecast, the most likely thing, but this is subject to change. Now, I want you to show you a few things here. Now, you see these big ranges here, like two to five. This is where the uncertainty for the snow is the most. So basically, in the winter base, we have a lot of uncertainty here. Also, Waltman, Casper, maybe not quite as much. Also, Grable, too, just one to four, one to three there. But again, you get snow, it's blowing around like heck. You're going to have a lot of impact from that weather. You get two inches, you get five inches. It's not going to matter in this situation. And most likely, about two to three across the western valleys. And the highest amounts, Buffalo, four to seven there. Also, four to seven, especially South Dakota, down in the Petitsi area, maybe. About two to five around uh, Shoshone. Three to six might be pushing in Riverton, like the three bird and the six there at this point. Also around Lander. And they're from about trace to maybe one or two inches across I 80. Here's our resource. If you want weather, you know where to go, weather.gov slash RAW. For road conditions, I keep telling you this. You've gotten a lot better with this lately, but don't call us for the road conditions. We get them right from here. We have no insider information. 
Why do I want that info? They have a great website to show those road conditions and closures. You want to call them on the phone, in-state, call 511, out-of-state, 188 Wyo Road. You want to take a look at those webcams for yourself, see if the conditions are all over the state of Wyoming. Just go to our website, weatherrock.com slash R-I-W. Click on local programs, and then our webcams by route. Be safe, everybody. Have a good day.